I'll do that quickly here. Find V initial of peanut 2. And so I'm going to choose this as my equation. Y final 2 is equal to Y initial 2 plus V initial 2 T2 plus 1 half A2 T2 squared. Start out by writing out the equation, then punch in what you know. There's a zero for the final position, positive 24.4 meters for the initial position. We're solving for V initial. 1.23 seconds is my time. I have a 1 half minus 9.8 meters per second squared and a 1.23 squared for my time. And what do I end up with? I end up with uh, 24.4 plus 1.23 V initial minus 7.41 and that gives me minus 13.8 meters per second is V initial of particle 2 and you want to make sure that's negative right it has to be in the downward direction and very quickly we can find the final velocity of particle 2 V final of 2 is V initial of 2 plus a T minus 13.8 you keep those negative signs the uh, acceleration minus 9.8 the time 1.23 and I end up with negative 25.9 meters per second okay so let's just make sure everything makes sense our initial velocity was downward it's negative our final velocity was downward it's negative it's bigger than the initial velocity good uh, because the uh, the acceleration is also downward and so when the velocity and the acceleration point in the same direction speed increases all right so Nothing was explicitly asked for in the problem, but we went ahead and worked out uh, and we found the initial velocity of particle 2. We found the final velocity of both peanuts. We found the time for both peanuts. So we found a lot of information here. Now I wanted to show you what the graphs look like if we plot position versus time, velocity versus time, and acceleration versus time. And in the interest of time, I've drawn them already here, so we'll just walk through them real quickly. Uh, so the first one, position versus time. I've used the black line for peanut number one. You can see that the slope at t equals zero has to be zero, right? That's right there. The slope has to be zero, and then it continues in this direction. It's a parabola and it gets to y equals 0 at 2.23 seconds. The other peanut, peanut 2, is in red, and it starts off with a slope that's not 0, right? It has some initial speed. The slope is actually negative, right? Because the way we chose our coordinate system, it starts off with a negative velocity, and then it keeps coming down, and it hits the y-axis. Uh, it hits y equals 0 at 1.23 seconds. The velocities look something like this. Peanut 1 starts with zero velocity and ends up with some negative velocity at 2.23 seconds. Peanut 2 starts kind of in between. Uh, has the same slope and ends up at 1.23 seconds with a bigger final velocity. And the accelerations are both the same. Negative 9.8 meters per second squared.